One of the problems was that when Obama and Bush went to the American people and leaders in Europe did the same, they said, you know, the reason we're saving the banks is not because we love the banks, but because we want to save the economy. We have to save the banks in order to maintain the flow of credit, the lifeblood of the economy. But the way they gave money to the banks was focused simply on saving the banks and the bankers. So when they gave money, they didn't tell the banks, we will give you money if and only if you maintain your lending. If we give you money, we don't want you to give your money out to bonuses. Bonuses for what? For reckless lending? For reckless behavior? Pay your shit! Here's the problem politically in America. If you have a political leader capable of solving the problem, he can't get the campaign financing. A precondition uh, for being a political leader is you let your campaign contributors, mainly the Wall Street funds and real estate, which are the main ones, dictate who you're going to hire as your financial advisor, you're the head of the Fed, the head of the Treasury, the Justice Department especially. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like.